Greetings everybody, this is Efren with eKiwi3 Enterprise coming at you with another exciting unboxing slash review video of something you've probably already seen or heard of and that would be the Slick Mini 2 tripod and I bought this for a very good reason, I've been wanting one for a while because I wanted it to be able to fit my DSLR camera which has a pretty good sized lens on it, it's got a, a wide angle lens on there as well so it's a little bit heavy so we're going to unbox this in a minute some of the features are, it has two leg sections that are that are uh, activated by speed lock. You just flip a switch and it slides open. And the max load are 2.75 pounds, bi-directional two-way pan heads you can lift for lift and panning, or two-way head for, lift, for a tilt and panning. And the center post has a suction cup to make it very stable. And the legs extend to 5.5 inches if you want them to. So let's get on with the unboxing. Interesting enough, this is a Japanese company, but company, but it was made in Japan. <laughs> I mean, in China. And here's a tripod. Oh, there's something else in here. Ah, there's instructions. What else? There's a prize. What is this? Oh, and a pouch. How cool! Wow, that is hefty. I feel good workmanship there. Wow. Yeah, so a lot of it's plastic, but it still feels very heavy. A lot of it's metal too. Feels like mostly plastic, but that's okay. Let's see. Boy, that's a nice instruction book, too. All right, I'll look at that later. Instructions. We don't need no stinking instructions. Let's see the bag. Ooh, it's a nice bag of the drawstring, too. Very, very nice. The little bead on there and everything. Ha! Huh. That's cool. I think it has a bubble level right there. Cool beans. There's a little, there's a little uh, suction cup. This goes up and down. This slides out and goes up really high, too. Wow. See if you're doing, I don't know if you can see this, but if you're, you have the camera on this thing right here, now you have a chest, a chest pod. Tighten that up. See if you can see that. So it's like that, and I, I can take some good still pictures that way. I'm, sh I'm pretty shaky for some reason. So I, I really, really like this tripod. And there you have it. It's sitting on there. It's pretty stable. Yeah. Stay. You know, I still have to work with the, uh, uh, I guess I could sit like that, or if I can you know, turn the camera on this this base a little differently. But it's holding up my DSLR. That's what I wanted. It'll work perfectly sitting on a desk, which is exactly what I wanted. So I really couldn't be happier with this tripod. Let me do something real quick here. Slide the legs in. Love these quick release. I can splay it out all the way. And that suction cup on the bottom there. Let me see if I can get the to touch. Yeah. There. Oops. Whoa. It's not exactly sticking, but that's okay. It keeps it stable. So there. Oops. And there, with a strap in the way, is exactly what I wanted. A tabletop, by judging by the size of my hand, which isn't that big. A tabletop tripod to get some good pictures, or a chest pod. I didn't know such thing exists, but I'm glad it has that option. So I get some really good shots because I'm pretty shaky. So I'm very happy with this tripod. The legs don't quite stick well because this is a very slick surface. So if I had it on something else, maybe a, ta a ta you know, top of a dresser or something, or my desk, you know. And I can have the legs extend. I probably don't have it right on this little tripod thing there. Yeah, I don't think I have it. I have it sideways on there. But it works like that, too. And it's good to have one of the legs straight out underneath the big lens. So that's all in all. I'm very happy with the quality of this. And it'll definitely work with the camera that I'm using right now. If I so need it for that. And there's a little level to make sure everything's on the level. And it looks like it is. So all in all, a very good product. I'll be playing with this, and I'll give a follow-up later on. How, how I like how it's working, and how I do some chest pod, uh, uh, what do you call it, shots. And I'll give a little more thorough assessment later. I'm not really impressed with these rubber nubs. You can see they're kind of rounded. They're sitting pretty good. They're splayed out like that, but these legs are kind of loose. I might be able to adjust those. These little screws right here are like hex head. I'm going to look at the instructions. I might be able to adjust those. If it tells me to, if not, I'm going to try anyway, see if I can tighten them just a smidge so it's a little bit more stable. Other than that, I'll get some more testing in and I will let you know after some field tests. So until then, thanks for tuning in. 
Appreciate you hitting the like button and subscribing helps me a lot. I'll see you in the next one.